Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about how I use Anki in med school and how you can get started with it too. I'll be going over what Anki is, what decks I use, what add-ons I use, and also what settings I use to use Anki on a daily basis, or a mostly daily basis. All right, well, let's get into the video. So for those of you guys who don't know, Anki is a flashcard program that uses space repetition to help you learn and better retain information. Basically, you pull up the program on your laptop or phone, choose a deck, and then go through the flashcards. After every flashcard, you then get to rate that card based on how hard or how easy it was for you. So as you can see on the bottom here, you get to rate this card as, again, hard, good, or easy. And there's a different time period that corresponds to each one. So the easier the card is, the less frequently you'll see it, and the harder the card is, the more frequently you'll see it. You guys have probably seen me talk about this before in my How I Study in Med School video, and also seen me using it to study in a lot of my med school vlogs. It's become a huge part of my study routine and has really helped me keep up with just the crazy amounts of information you're learning every single day in med school. I truly love it so much and I think it's worth it for any student, whether you're in med school or not, just to give it a try and see if it works for you. So how can you get Anki? So you can actually download the Anki program on your laptop for free, or you can install the Anki app on your phone for $20. I'd actually recommend trying out the free version on your laptop first, and then going for the mobile app version if you find that you're really enjoying it and are really benefiting from using Anki. And I know that $20 for an app might seem like a lot to some people, um, but I think it's a really worthy investment because it's just a one-time purchase and you'll likely be using it every day. It's also so nice to have a version that you can just take on the go so that whether you're waiting in line at Starbucks or Ubering somewhere, um, you have Anki on your phone and you can use that spare minute or two to study and learn a couple extra facts. It especially comes in handy when it's exam week or finals week or you're preparing for your step one exam um, when every second counts. So now I want to get into what decks I use. Um, I know that some people like to make their own decks and they really benefit from that process of making the deck and having a personalized deck. But for myself, I knew from the beginning that it would just take up way too much of my time. I knew that um, I could already benefit from these standardized pre-made decks. So these pre-made decks can be found on the right-hand side of the Med School Anki Reddit page, which I know seems really random because it is, but yeah, that's where they're found. These pre-made decks are really, really well made and they basically contain anything and everything that you need to know for your exams. The main decks that I use are one, Zonki, which contains information from UWorld, First Aid, and Pathoma. Two, I use Lol Not A Cop, which contains information from Sketchy Micro and Sketchy Farm. And three, I use Lightyear, which contains information from all the Boards and Beyond videos. Uh, this last deck, Lightyear, I mostly use as a supplement to the first two, mostly for any topics that I feel like the first two don't cover as well, or maybe just don't go into detail as much, or don't have a lot of cards on. And lastly, one deck that I personally don't use, but I know a lot of my classmates have used for anatomy, is the Dope Anatomy deck. Um, I personally have found that I just like to learn anatomy when I'm in anatomy lab and working with the cadavers, but I know my other classmates have really benefited from having this deck and having a way to review anatomy outside of the lab. So next I want to talk about what add-ons are and how you can download them. Basically add-ons are things you can add on to your Anki program and they all have different special functions and they really help to enhance your Anki experience. There are like a bajillion out there and you can read all about them on the Anki add-ons website but I'll go ahead and just share a couple of my favorite ones or the ones that I use the most on a daily basis. So the first one I want to mention is hierarchical tags. This one basically creates hierarchies using double colons to help make finding specific cards or specific decks easier. The next one I want to mention is advanced browser. This one allows you to add different columns to your card browser and basically just enhances the usability of your browser. The next one I want to mention is true retention and this one basically calculates a pass rate using just your uh, review cards instead of using all of your cards and it provides a better indicator of your learning quality as compared to just using your again rate. 
And lastly, I want to mention speed focus mode, and this one will play an alert, show you the answer, or automatically fail the card at different intervals that you can set. And this one just basically helps you to stay focused, stay on task, and make sure you're not spending too much time on different cards. Now to download any of these add-ons, you can Google Anki add-ons, click on the version that you have, find the add-on that you're looking for, and then scroll down to find the add-on code. Once you have that code, you can go ahead and copy that code, open your Anki, go to tools, then add-ons, then browse and install, and then you can go ahead and paste in that code. Once you've done that, you can restart your Anki and your add-on will be ready to go. Now as for deck settings, I honestly mostly just followed the settings that an M2 showed me last year um, and just made some small adjustments along the way. I think you need to find what works best for you, but in case you have absolutely no clue like I did last year, um, you can go ahead and follow my settings as a guideline and it could just be a good starting point for you. Now I'm not going to walk you through every single setting that I use uh, just because my video would probably be 30 minutes long, but I'll go ahead and put screenshots of my settings up here on the screen for you so that you can pause the video and copy down any settings that you might need. And lastly, I just quickly wanted to mention how I organize my decks. Um, I know that everyone has their own completely different ways of doing it, but this is just what works for me as a very crazy and organized person. So basically, I like to create a deck for each block that I'm in. So for example, I'm starting my renal block next week. So I'll go ahead and create a deck named renal and then find corresponding sections under Zonky and Lightyear to then put in my renal deck. So I'll come under my master Zonki step deck and then drag the renal section under my renal deck. Then I'll do the same thing with my master Zonki farm deck and drag the renal section to my renal deck. I'll also make sure to rename and recapitalize things so that everything looks nice and uniform because I'm a little bit OCD like that. Now it gets a little more complicated when it comes to light year just because you can't just click and drag the sections that you need into your deck. So what you'll actually have to do is go under browse and then scroll until you find BAB, so boards and beyond. Look for the section that you're working with. So for me, I'm looking for renal. And then what I like to do is actually create a separate deck for each of these subsections. I'll go ahead and memorize each of these subsection names. So acid base, diseases, electrolytes, intro, and other. And then create decks for each of these subsections in my actual renal deck. Now once these decks are made, I'll go back under BAB Renal, go to each of the different subsections, and then move all of these cards into the new deck that I made under my renal deck by clicking change deck. Now I know that that was a lot of steps and it could have been a little confusing, but basically what you're doing is taking cards from any of the master decks. So master decks include Zonky, Zonky Farm, Lol Not A Cop, and Lightyear slash Bab. You're taking cards from each of those master sections and then putting them into your own deck for your different organ system. So for me, I have my renal deck. Under that, I have my Zonky renal deck, I have my Zonky Farm renal deck, and I have my Boards and Beyond renal deck. Now, the only difference is that for Zonky or Lil Not A Cop, you can go ahead and just click and drag the sections directly into your renal deck. Whereas with Lightyear slash Bab, you actually have to go into browse, find the sections, and then create your own decks to match those subsections and then move all those cards in, if that makes sense. Now it's just a couple extra steps, but I find that this really helps me to keep track of where all of my cards came from and just really helps me keep everything organized and in place. And one thing I want to mention is that at the beginning of each block, I'll go ahead and go into all of the decks that I've made for that block and just suspend all of those cards. And what I'll do is unsuspend the cards as I'm learning about the course material, either that day or that week. Also, as you can see here, I have one master step one deck. Um, this contains all of the decks that I've used in my previous blocks. So I have my CPP deck, Heme deck, MSK, Neuro. These are all courses that I had in my first year. So whenever I finish a block, I'll go ahead and just drag it into my master step one deck. That way I can keep all of my progress and have it all in one place for when I need to review for step one. 
I hope that all made sense. I know that was a lot of information. All right, well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this somewhat useful. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.